but yesterday I painted it from here to here with a roller and then from here to the jacking points I sprayed it and when I sprayed it it was very hot in this garage and um, it was like it felt like overspray but I think it was too hot and I'd, it, it, it was too thick in the gun but it's fine it's come up all right and uh, it looks like orange pill but it's not it's the actual pitting of the metal and obviously on here it was put on thicker because I did it with a roller and this is all pitted so this morning I flattened it down with 150 wet and dry and the metal is showing through so the idea is to kind of use the paint as a filler to make it smooth here where the gearbox uh, was leaking uh, it's not rusty because there was all oil on there but obviously here and the other side it is but I think my main priority now is to actually get a layer of this paint on the whole underbody because the longer I leave it the more chance of it having another layer of rust on there although it is very dry this is an ideal week to do it it's the last week in May 2020 and it's lovely and dry and the humidity is low so I'm going to put loads of paint in a spray gun and go over the whole lot today before it gets too hot in here I have now gone over the whole lot with one coat of two pack primer so that's all nice and sealed there's no risk of any surface rust on the bare metal now uh, so today I'm going to scotch bite it all down because it's been more than four hours and then I've ordered some paint rollers and I'm going over the whole lot with with a paint roller that will get a thicker coat because I've noticed also when I when I use the brush to, to uh, use up the leftover paint over there and this morning I've gone along and it's not rough like this it's smooth so there's a difference between rollering it and spraying it. Right, that's the last of the Scotch biting. I've gone over the whole underbody with that. And now it's smooth to the touch. So now I'm ready to mix up the paint and go over with a roller.
20 minutes ago this arrived and it's a set of sanding blocks and they're called Dewar Block. Now the job I'm doing at the moment is, is sanding down the two pack primer on the, under, on the underside of the car and before this for the last two weeks I've been using this old fashioned rubber block and with this, this sandpaper that I've had hanging around for a long long time. Um, and so I also ordered some of this Velcro um, sanding paper and it's say it say it so this is this is 80 grit but I've actually put on this one which is 120 grit and it just goes on it's called goes on like that it just sticks on and this 120 grit seems sharper than this this old-fashioned type of paper so as you just see me I've been under there and tried it and the reason I'm making this clip is because my first impressions well when I opened the box the first impressions was blimey someone's making a lot of money because they don't weigh anything it might they must be quite cheap to produce and they're very this is very expensive um, but anyway I've put that on there and I've gone underneath with this 120 grit and because it's so light as you're rubbing you have much more control on it than this old-fashioned thing it's quite dense this is quite heavy so I think I say the reason I, I, I bought or the reason I requested this was for, for when I do the body work so I can block down and inside you get, there's different shapes there's this long one which should be ideal for doing the doors and there's uh, all these different types and they've all got Velcro on them that's the reason why I ordered it to do the bodywork but um, I thought I'd just give it a go and yeah I can see why why this is this is caught on because it's so light you have more control These rust pit holes were like all over. So this is the last bit of flattening down.
the undercoat's all done now I've been about two weeks rubbing it down and spraying and rubbing down to get rid of all the rust marks in the end I bought a new spray gun it's a cheap one it's made by Sealy and it's got a 1.8 tip on it uh, so the next thing I need to do now is seam seal everywhere where I think it needs it and I've got this tiger seal and it's supposed to stick to blankets very well so that's my next task